Right, let's have a look at an example then. So we've got a 10-year lease, 50,000 per annum in advance. It increases every two years based on a CPI, on the Consumer Price Index. So that's a variable payment based on a rate. Yes, we include that then in the lease liability. And that seems to be the only payment. The CPI now is 125. That's the one that we've got to use. We don't try and guess the future. And just telling you, look, in the future, it actually goes to 135, two years later. Remember, they increase it every two years. Discount rate to be used is 5%. So we, we need a right to use asset and we need a lease liability. The lease liability, we start off first. There was no fixed payments. There was no in-substance payments. We just need to work out what the, the variable ones were worth. So it would have been it, 10 times... 50,000, that was the variable one. We keep it at 50,000. We don't try and guess what's going to happen in the future. We discount it down at 5%. And I can tell you that the answer to that is 405,391. And that's what would therefore be your right to use assets. Now, this right to use asset then, let's depreciate it for a couple of years. So divide by 10 times by 2. Then you'd get 81,078. And that would give you three two four net book value after two after two years three one three. Now let's go deal with the lease liability side then. So the opening is that four oh five three nine one. Then you take off fifty thousand. So four oh five three nine one take off fifty thousand because it's in advance. Then you add on the interest of five percent seventeen seven seven zero. With a bit of rounding. Add all that across then and you get 373161. That's the end of year one. Now do year two, 373161. Pay off 50,000. Interest 5% on the balance, which is 16,158. And that will give you a closing balance then of 339319. Uh, at the end of year two. But it's at the end of year two, look, because it increases every two years based on the CPI. Every two years, then, we've got to have a look at this variable payment. So this variable payment, this new payment, that 50,000 was based on the CPI at 125. It is now 135. So therefore, the new payments that we're going to have to pay in the future is 54,000. So we're going to have to remeasure the lease liability, aren't we? Because it's no longer 50,000 a year, it's 54,000. And because you've remeasured the lease liability, you have to remeasure the ready to use assets as well. Okay, so I can tell you then to, to work out what um, eight lots of the new 54,000 would be discounted down at 5%, etc. I can tell you that that actually comes to uh, 366464. Four. So that's the new 54,000 for eight years, discounted down at 5%. But we were at 339, weren't we? And it's now at 366. So remeasuring the liability means we had to add on an extra 27,145 to the liability. Credit the liability, debit the asset. We measure the asset as well. So your asset at the start of year three now has a net book value of 351458. And you're going to have an opening balance on your liability of 366464. And then you just carry on like that for the future.